Okay, so these haters got a head start, okay, and still lost. They got a head start and they still lost, okay? I can't tell you how many people think that that setting you back is going to push them ahead of you. Some of y'all got haters. Some people say, well, haters don't exist. Yes, they do. They do. Some of y'all got haters. They've been coming against you and they wanted that. They came against you just to get a head start. Okay. These people attacked you, slowed you down, went and stole all your stuff. And so they could be happy and, and have a head sore and they still lose it. Okay. These people still lose it. It goes back to the word when I said some people, they cannot stand to see you advance. So they'll bring you down so that, so that they can advance. And then all of a sudden when they, you, you notice when people are envious, everything is good when they got to their specific level before they got to that level, they mad, they're angry. Okay. They don't, they, they're giving you problems. They're giving you hell, right? But as soon as they start walking in what they want to walk into, all of a sudden, you see them smiling. They're happy. Life is great. But see, they were not content before that. They were angry before that. They were not content. You understand what I'm saying? I have people all the time, they tell me, oh, you know, like, uh, why aren't you on a big stage? Why aren't you preaching on a pulpit on a big stage? I've preached at conferences. You understand what I'm saying? I've been doing a lot of things. I've baptized people. I've eloped people. I've did all. The, I've prayed over people on their deathbed as they transitioned. You understand? I've delivered people. I've casted out demons. I don't desire to be on a big stage. If I get an opportunity, if God lead me to go, sure I'll go. But see, when I look at those people there, I've done that already. I dance on stages. You understand? That's flashiness and all that stuff. That's not it to me. You under, that's not, that's not it to me. God called is calling me now to teach behind the scenes. There, there's bigger things I'm training and equipped. And now I've been in the spotlight and it's okay to be there, I'm, but I don't desire that. And that's what people don't understand. You understand? That's not what people understand. So people feel like by blocking me, by blocking little opportunities, they expect me to be sad. I'm not sad. I'm not sad. So, you know, people say, oh, you know, you're this platform, you know, why are you here? This platform, you know, people, they wasn't saying it in a bad way. You know, this is.